Aloha, welcome to another BYU Hawaii Drupal tutorial for webmasters and users. This tutorial will help you understand more about user administration. The important thing is that all BYU websites require that users log in with the CSNet ID. If a user does not have a CSNet ID, the user cannot access websites or maintain websites. Webmasters are required to complete the BYU Hawaii Webmaster Certification upon which when they log into the site by going to the specific site they work on just typing slash user and entering their CSNet ID and password upon login you'll be able to administer the site or update content the important thing is if you're a site administrator and you have multiple users, all you have to um, concentrate on to manage your users is under the option of user management on the black administration menu. The key thing is the only users that you'll be able to allow to your sites are those that uh, have their CSNet ID. For example, here we have the administra uh, administrative section for users on the uh, academics website. We have multiple users and uh, here, specific users are assigned um, a, a role, like for example, under the academics, this person right here is only uh, able to update content, administer content for the David O. McKay um, website. Uh, also here, uh, you have other people that have been given administrative um, uh, role for, for the website. For example, we have a user here. If you click on the user, you'll be able to see that they are authenticated using LDAP and when you do edit the user you can see the user uh, the CSNet ID which is the username their password and they will be the only ones that can go in and change their password but that would um, if the password is different from the CSNet ID it will not work on the website and this is the location where you uh, if you feel that the user is, is no longer allowed to access the site and keeps logging in you can do the block status right here or you can remove that person from the administrative role or if you feel like you just want them to concentrate on a specific um, department within the site or content type or role then this is where you specify that user to to access a certain um, department or certain role or content type within your site um, another key thing under um, users is that um, you can uh, see when was the last time they accessed the site uh, they when was the um, how long they've been members and this edit option is pretty much the same as uh, when you click on uh, the the username and you should be able to to see the same thing that uh, we we saw in the first place um, back to users uh, let's say for example right now we want to clean up house and we just want to keep those that are um, that have uh, current roles and have access to the site so I'm deselecting the current users and those are uh, who have assigned roles so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be deleting all of the users that are no longer um, you know active or uh, should not be accessing the site now another reason why you see these um, accounts um, logged into your site is because you probably have a um, a web form or a, a location on your site where you say only authenticated users can post comments or fill out a form or uh, access a, a certain portion of your uh, secure uh, pages so that's probably why you've seen a lot of these names on your sites and so uh, if you do not um, want these uh, if you want to clean up your user list this is where you go ahead and delete and remove those um, CSNet ID logins once I have deleted these uh, individuals I should just see those that are um, um, the the remaining active users um, another key thing is you can also filter by role like for example if you have like a hundred different authenticated users you can filter them by department here or by permission like for example you want to find out who can post 
onto blogs or who can administer the blocks or do certain functionalities within your site. You can filter those users depending on um, how uh, you've set up your site. So this is just a basic understanding of um, how to um, manage users. And another uh, key thing is your site must have LDAP authentication. If you do not have LDAP authentication and if you do not have a secure site, um, you could be um, in serious trouble in that people logging in on your site um, without LDAP, uh, you may have some hackers and so forth accessing your site and doing um, stuff they shouldn't be doing. And um, your site should always have uh, secure pages on so that when um, on-campus users log in with their CSNet ID, they, they, the passwords won't go on the clear and um, hackers may not get access to that and uh, create problems for those users. Thanks.